Cole Williams versus Jason Witt. We got minus 140 on Jason Witt and plus 120 on Cole Williams. And this line was interesting because it opened up minus 150 for Jason Witt. We saw it drop down to pretty much even money. And now here we are slowly treading towards back to that minus 140, minus 150 range for Jason Witt. So a lot of people just right off the bat, they kind of just rid off uh, Jason Witt. Went on the Cole, Cole Williams side, taking the dog money. And then eventually, once they got that, you know, pick them line, a lot of people started to jump back on Jason Witt. And uh, I wasn't too familiar with these guys when I first got into, you know, like looked at this matchup. Obviously, we know that Jason Witt came in on Super Show Notice against uh, Takashi Sato. Um, that lasted 44 seconds or something like that. And then Cole Williams stepped in on short notice as well against Claudio Silva last year. Uh, and and obviously came up on the losing end via neck crank, um, but now here they are, both of them getting relatively, you know, f like full training camps to go out there and actually uh, show what they have to do in the uh, to, in the UFC and where they actually belong. And uh, I do believe that the 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 way the money is going. Those people are right. So let's start off with Cole Williams. On the other hand, this guy seems like a guy that well, it's not seeming it's fact. He does not compete that often. He made his pro MMA debut in 2008, um, rattled off two fights in 2008, two fights in 2009, one in 2010, one in 2000, or sorry, two in 2011, then took roughly a two and a half year layoff, came back, uh, one fight in 2014, one fight, two fights in 2015, takes off another year and a half, one fight in 2017, takes a year and a half off, fights Charlie Brown, uh, that's one fight in 2018. Uh, and then gets a short notice call up against Claudio Silva a year later, loses that fight, and now here he is once again, just about a year over a uh, year later as well too. And he's not getting any younger. The guy's thirty six years old, so that's something that he keeps has to keep in mind. He'll be thirty seven come December, and it looks like his his skills are slowly starting to fall off. And obviously, it's easy to say that, especially after he goes out there and loses to Claudio Silva. He did have a shining moment in that fight where he was able to hit Claudio Silva with a very clean shot that seemed to have Claudio Silva, you know, a little bit more desperate to get this fight to the ground, which is which he was able to do shortly thereafter. Um, but outside of that, it doesn't seem like he has much. While I was watching one of his uh, regional fights, it was it, it was said, or actually it was probably the UFC broadcast, but it was said that he's had over 100 wins in wrestling matches when it comes down to high school and, and that, that range. So high school for him was years ago, and it seems like his body has definitely gone away from that as well. You know, uh, one of his early losses is to Eric Wisey in a fight where, you know, Wisey is a 45 or 55 or so. He, de he has definitely put on a little bit of weight in that amount of time. He's fighting at 170 now, um, and he seems more of a brawler than anything. Like, out of all, any of the fights that I've seen of his, he doesn't really use his wrestling much. Yeah, he got John Kennedy down, but we're talking about a guy that was 6 and 16. So I'm not completely convinced in terms of what his wrestling is truly like. And that seems to be the, the strength of Jason Witt, is his wrestling and his grappling. The guy is a thick, dense dude that's able to just power opponents down. Obviously, he has solid takedowns, uh, good double legs, is able to drag guys down along the cage, um, and has some power in his hands as well. Uh, I like Jason Witt. Um, like I, th I think he, he can hang on the feet. He, you know, there are questions about his chin. I have seen him rocked in his past couple of fights. Obviously he lost that Takashi Sato fight. He was a little bit rocked in that Cliff Wright fight. Zach Busha was able to hit him with a couple shots too. Uh, but now, uh, you know, obviously most recently in June. So we're coming up just over four months ago that he was knocked out by Takashi Sato. So hopefully that's enough of time for him to have sat back and, uh, you know, regrouped and come back in this fight against Cole Williams in a fight that it seems like he should have a ton of advantage from being the way more active fighter um having uh you know more to his game than Cole Williams in my opinion like again I think Cole Williams is uh somebody on my uh in my Patreon Discord chat brought up the perfect example. He kind of reminds me of John Phillips, and I kind of see it. Like, the guy kind of just trudges forward and tries to land big shots. Very rarely do you see him go for the takedown, like late in his fight against... Uh, um, late in his fight against Charlie Brown is when he actually ended up going for a takedown, so that's something to consider. But for the majority of the fight, he just tries to go out there and out-sling you. 
I mean, it doesn't seem like he has much technique towards it. It was just more so just trying to land the bigger shots and the heavier shots and try to be the one that comes out with their hand raised. I think he's going to have a little bit more to worry about here with Jason Witt. Um, I think Jason will be successful in taking him down and taking him down often. But my question is the times that it is on the feet. If he does struggle to get Cole down a bit and if Cole's wrestling chops from back in the day actually decide to show themselves, Jason Witt could have a lot harder of a time of getting this fight to the ground than he should. Um, I still believe that we'll see Jason Wood complete the takedowns. I think we'll see him be able to hold his own on the feet, not really get clipped by anything crazy by Cole Williams. Because, yeah, Cole Williams does punch hard, but uh, you know I, I am skeptical of the the opponents that he was able to go out there and knock out. I think Jason Wood has a little bit more to offer and is a little bit more durable than those guys. Again, obviously, he just got knocked out by Takashi Sato in his last fight, so we do have to be a little bit cautious about that. That's why I can't trust these guys at this point in time. I do like Jason White here. I do think he gets it done via decision, uh, but I'd be a little bit skeptical about actually risking my money on this fight because Cole Williams could absolutely land a bomb and uh, and put Jason White out. So uh, that is a little bit of a concern. Jason White has a great corner as well, training over there at Glory Kickboxing with uh, James Cross and those guys. So that's another advantage for him too. But uh, yeah, th- this is a this is a closer. This is a close fight, so the line is absolutely understandable here, but I do have to go with Jason Witt, and I think he gets it done via decision.